Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am T-Shirt Mama. Today's T-Shirt is a tie-dyed Mickey. It's my favorite one, so I know you guys have seen it a hundred times at this point. Um, any hoosers, I am off to the dollar store. I am going to do a mini series on my channel to see how far $10 will go. So I am going to the dollar store first to spend $10 to make Nick and I breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm hoping a snack. We shall see how that goes. So I'm gonna head to the dollar store, and the only things I can use to make those meals are whatever I can buy with my $10 from that store, which is we're doing the dollar store today, and some staples that every household has. So, oil, salt and pepper, oh, you can't even see it because it's basically empty, salt and pepper, and water. So, if I can't make it with what I can buy in the ten, with the $10 and those few ingredients that I would like to think every household has, then I can't be made. So, wish me luck. I'm off right now. All right. So I just made it to the Dollar Tree. Someplace over there. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna find in here. I have obviously gotten like snacks and like candies and like soda from a Dollar Tree before. Oops. But I have never gotten food food. I've seen people do it on YouTube though. This is where I got the idea from. So I guess wish me luck. Also, I haven't made this like totally known. I'm sure people have picked up on it with my grocery hauls, but Nick and I are vegan. And so I feel like the Dollar Tree is gonna be pretty hard. We'll see though, who knows? All right, there's no way it's gonna get done if I sit in the car. I'm gonna go in now. So I'm out of the store. I'm pretty impressed. That's a lot of thunder. I don't see any lightning, but it is raining. Anyway, I did way better than I thought I was going to. Like, I only brought one tiny little bag thinking that it was gonna be a hungry day. And I ended up getting a couple, couple bags there. So I spent exactly $10. I know it's a dollar store. Also, I live in New Hampshire and there's no um, tax in grocery stores and stores like this. So 
it'll be like exactly ten dollars like the tax is in the thing um but yeah i'm gonna get home and i will show you everything i got but i think we'll be pretty good i'm pretty excited i think i did pretty good um we might be sad because there won't be any like snacking but i think we'll be pretty good i'm pretty excited with the amount of stuff that i got so i'm gonna go home cook it all up for tomorrow since it's already 3 30 so we've already eaten today and we'll do our eating portion of this challenge tomorrow so like i said i gotta get home i will show you all the goodies and we'll go from there all right so i am home this is the haul which i was pretty impressed with so i kind of set it up how i think we're going to eat it so for breakfast i got some almond milk and some cereal um i'm thinking we're gonna end up having four meals too just because i don't think we will be full for long with cereal or full for long with just pasta so my plan was cereal and then like a weird snack of broccoli which i was really happy to find because this is uh what did i just say a pound yeah a pound of broccoli and then some chickpeas so i was just going to uh do a little salt pepper and olive oil on these and then some penne with some sauce and these i've had this before i didn't get it from the dollar store but i've had it before it was okay and needed a little bit of help so i got some peppers so it's a yellow onion red yellow and green bell peppers some corn and then one for nick as well so yes this is 11 items but there was a sign saying that like these kind of cans not like the sauce and the condiment cans but like this corn and the beans were 50 cents so this was a dollar together and then i have nine other ingredients right let me make sure i do this right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes so i spent ten dollars because these two together were a dollar so at this point i am just going to prep everything really quickly so you guys can see what we are going to be eating for tomorrow and then at the end of tomorrow we will uh touch base again and see how full we are what we thought of the food for ten dollars and kind of close out the video tomorrow after we've experienced the whole thing but i'm going to prep everything so you guys can see what the plan is all right so i have finished cooking everything so i have my spaghetti with sauce it didn't all fit in this one container so i put like a little bit in with the broccoli and chickpeas and then I made those rice and bean cups, sauteed up those peppers and onions, and divvied up the corn between these two. And then the only thing left I have to do is throw all of this in the almond milk in the fridge, and we will be all set for tomorrow. So I'm pretty impressed so far. Hopefully I will be full from all of this. All right, you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, everything looks pretty good. It smells pretty good, too, so it shouldn't be that bad at all. You think you're going to fall? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good amount, so. Only salt and pepper. Yay. Also, did you know the dollar store sells cans for 50 cents? I did not. I figured they would be a dollar because, you know, it's the dollar store. That's what I thought, too. But there was just, like, this janky-ass, like word print off that said cans <laughs> 50 cents and then like highlighter on it nice so i'm thinking it's not all from dollar stores maybe i just got lucky yeah, maybe whatever i'll take it i'll take it all right well that's it until tomorrow when we tell you how everything worked out all right guys this is actually future katrina and future nick like 
way in the From future. From the future. We uh, may or may not have forgotten to give you an update on what we thought of our snacks. So, here we go. Cereal for breakfast. It was not great. That was some of the shittiest cereal ever. <laughs> like, yeah, it was pretty bad. That was wanted bad. to eat, like, stale packing peanuts. Yeah. yeah. So, it filled our belly but it didn't really because like I couldn't even like eat enough for yeah. it to fill my belly um then what else did we have we had we had the pasta pasta with the broccoli and chickpeas yeah that was pretty good that was really good I yeah. actually really liked that that was um hearty filling with veggies it yep. was good not bad at all um I ate mine over two portions so like I split the pasta and I split the broccoli and I mixed them up. Did you do the same? I just kind of had them separate. I had like broccoli and then a side of like pasta. Or, uh, I had pasta and like a side of broccoli and chickpeas instead of mixing them all in. Okay. Um, and then those burrito bowls, there was nothing wrong with them. They just weren't they were okay. nearly as flavorful because yeah. salt and pepper only goes so far. Right. Yeah, they weren't the greatest, but they weren't terrible. Yeah. So... Overall, I could see us doing it again. Like, it wasn't like it was the worst thing. And no. now I have, like, skills. And yeah. I know, like, what to get and what not to get now. De definitely not getting cereal again. That was truly awful. Yeah. It definitely would have been worth getting one bag of broccoli and getting a salsa to fix those um, burrito, bowls. burrito bowls and then just not doing that for breakfast maybe like oatmeal or like they had like smoothie packs and yep. I could have done that or something so any hosers now we know for the dollar store what do you think we should do next Aldi or Walmart I think we should check out Aldi's because I don't, I don't really know too much about vegan options at Aldi's so that might be interesting to see how much they actually have or don't have okay. you know because I, I do like Aldi's I think Aldi's has some great products I think Aldi's also has some very not good products. It's very hit or miss there. Either they what they have is a fantastic or not worth even looking at. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on at Aldi's there. All right. So Aldi's it is. We're both kind of like half looking over the camera and looking at our daughter, if you can't tell. Yeah. Um, oh, she's pooping. Yeah. I was going to save YouTube from knowing that information, but. No. Nope. Yeah. No, nope, we're looking. She's and now bouncing so yeah. joys of being parents <laughs> any hoosers so uh this video we're gonna call it a close we were able to eat from ten dollars a day from the dollar store and breakfast was really the only thing we really didn't like yeah i felt full throughout the day did you yeah yeah i felt like what the meals we had were very filling I think... a lot of rice and beans and pasta and some good veggies so yeah Okay. All right. So then I guess we'll be doing all these next. So keep an eye out for that. Bye guys. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe.